Here we have the pop source, pop source. Here we can choose uh, how is emission type. Is the emission type on scatter on, on surface, all points, all geometry points, or scatter on surface? Obviously, is uh, choose again. And here use the first contest geometry because um, usually when you are working with the particles, you can uh, uh, jump up. You can connect it here. It's the first call you have the first contest, the second, the third, and the fourth. You can connect that here, here, or you can only use, for example, use the parameter value. So you can use here the our SOP. You can dot dot slash out, and we have the collision and the source particles. It's the same way. You can see here now. We have uh, also the grid. You can see the grid or not see the grid. Also, we have the blue because my points is active from the highlights from this two bar. However, here you can show or not show the grid if you want. You can see it's uh, more comfortable and also the particles you have here, the points. It's my particles, that points. The dimension of this point you can um, adjustment by the, um, the viewport display so we can press D and you can find here in geometry you can find your particles it's uh, the points the pixel it's a show like the pisc pixel you can see it's very it is small maybe we can change with the dark okay and we can see very very best uh, geometry is pixel it's like the line so it's a representation it's like the line or the disk you can see the disk or you can choose the points from points also you can choose your dimension if for example 10 you have the 10 it's you can see it's very big points you can have here or you can just say it's free Sometimes it's good free because you can understand where is your particles very fast, maybe because you don't be, become blind. And here, sometimes it's good with the pixel because maybe you need to understand very well if your workflow is working very well or not. I prefer, for now, we can choose the, the points is by default, okay? Also, for particles, we have also the sprite texture, the limit, it's uh, 128, and it's, um, it's very low limit, and this limit is uh, like the RAM, okay? So, we can have, uh, let me take, for example, the block note, we can have uh, 64, 128, 5, 1, and 2, and 1, 0, Two, four, and two, zero, four, eight, and so on. This is uh, one giga. This is two giga, and this is is megabytes. And this is the resolution you can have the the limits. But usually I don't use the sprite, and because sometimes when I use particles, I use particles. To, in more case for drive, maybe that the some effects like for example for drive uh, the simulation of pyro or for drive the fluid of the flip fluid or you can use uh, for uh, create the, another effects like the sand like the dust but usually you can use uh, you don't use the texture from sprite however here we can come back here okay so we can see with the dark is very good and here we have the group source you can use the, the geometry you can use for uh, how is uh, here you can use for example the this, this this sphere but more important is the emission type the emission type here is scatter on surface you can see it's uh, create the points by scattering now the point is create only on surface not because here we have on surface but because we don't have the velocity now so it's uh, without the well uh, we the particle is not moved so it's creating static only on stick on surface 
In fact, you can come here, you can choose all points. You can see it's create particles per points. Obviously, you don't see here because you don't see any change because the particle is create on particles. But you can see here with the number, if I create the, see the number of points, you can see it's changed the number every time. All geometry is a few different because it's create the geometry by geometry, okay? Uh, this is maybe is more difficult to understand now. We can see what, what I mean in the next time. Here we have the source group. You can create the group for your source. And you can also say maybe you can use the, the each, the points, the primitives. And also you can use the attributes. Here the mission by attribute obviously is not working with the geometry. Is working with uh, scatter of points. You can have here, for example, the emission by attribute like the color, like the normal, etc. etc. You can also relax the points for control best. The scatter this is like the scatter SOP you can find in up level, in the SOP level, and it's it's the same. It's, uh, it's working in the same in the same way you can you calibrate and use the different kind of uh, your scatter effects if you want and here we have uh, the remove overlapping because you can also remove the overlapping in your sheen and this is for the first tab of the pop source and here we have um, the bird the board is very interesting because it's uh, the the core uh, of how is working your particles. There is some part in the first time. Okay, in the first time I open Houdini, I don't understand that part. Okay, I say, hey, what what is that? What is that? Because it's uh, uh, one, but I can go, also go up. To, to more value, but uh, in more more tutorial, more good, they say it's only zero one. What is it that? That is uh, like uh, true and false, and one is true, so it's active, and zero is false, so it's not active. No active what? The impulse. And here we have the impulse count. What is this, the impulse and the constant birth rate? It's the number of particles you can have or for every frame or for the birth rate, so for second. Here we have the animation setting. We have the FPS in 24. Usually when you're working, working with 24 by default in animation. In more projects I work at it's worked in a two, in 24 uh, frames per second. So every second, it's uh, for create one second. In this case, you need to 24. If you're working with the NTSG, you need to have the 13 uh, frames per second. So every 30, you have one second. If you're working for all PAL, it's usually in uh, Europe, in uh, is uh, 25 okay but usually i work in more with 24 and i see more production now is working to 24 the difference between uh, pal and uh, in ntsg is because the energy is difference and um, is an is different kind of energy we can uh, electric energy we can have in our home. So it's different kind of uh, frame rate. Uh, you think maybe that is stupid, but it's not stupid. It's one reason is that. However, 24, it's good. And now with internet, with the new system, 24, it's the standard for more production. And here we have the, the start and the end for timeline. 
for now we're working only with the 1 and 24 but uh, usually when you work in production uh, you don't start to one because maybe you need to more space before for calculate best your system so usually we can start to one one and uh, the another it's uh, and this is maybe it's more or we can start with one zero zero one okay the this is the another timeline you can use that for example so you can have a space before but for my example now i prefer start to one because it's very comfortable for understand better your system also because maybe you watching this uh, this video for the first time and maybe you don't understand why i have one and one or one and don't have the one okay this is, uh, uh, we can see with the example, when we start to create the, the real facts, we start with the correct timeline. However, here we have the real time playback, if you can, and it's by default. And here you can save as default if you want. However, here the impulse count is created by frame and here is created by FPS. So, now we have a 5000 you can see also with the spreadsheet spreadsheet you can also oops right mouse button spreadsheet and then here with this uh, very comfortable use that more case you have more information here and here also we have the number of uh, uh, you can see Okay, spreadsheet, ah, okay, no, not in this spreadsheet, sorry, but here with the information, and we can now pin the information here. We can see here, we have geometry with uh, 2009 points, okay. Um, when I come here, And refresh you see I have a 5002 I don't uh, know why it's Houdini is part 2 here but however from uh, this uh, frame rate in my first second I have a 5000 it's the the number of constant rate birth rate I have here okay so it's the number of my rate if I say for example shoot out shoot 100 you can see you need to re recalculate your simulation and you can also come back here simulation reset simulation and you can update that you can see it's a true shoot 200 so it's uh, mm, this is very comfortable because this is how much particle you can have every rate and here if i for example is zero for constant activation and update yeah update you can see i don't have any particles in uh, in constant you can see here any particles is created okay because i disable my activation here in the impulse you can i say it's one and here i can say see it's create 10 particles every frame and here, if I have update, I see I have 10 points. If I jump to the number 2, I have 20, etc, etc. Uh, you can see it's changed every time in every frame you have the number of the my particle is that. And this is one way for create your particles obviously you can animate this element for because uh, i want my emission maybe is start one okay start one 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 is create 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 but i want my animation maybe is uh, finish to frame 48 and i can animate with uh, uh, alt and double click or I can use the keyframe, set keyframe, 
OK, Alt and Left Mouse button here, or I can use the expression.